a question I get pretty often is what is the difference between a cosigner and an authorized user? So a cosigner is somebody who signed on a loan with you, they signed the dotted line, so to speak, and they are responsible for the debt. Meaning, uh, let's use an example of a car. Maybe you needed a cosigner to get a car and your brother Joe co-signed with you on this car. You've gotten to the point now where you can't make the car payment anymore. It, times are tough, you've lost your job or whatever the reason may be and you can't make this car payment. And you say, I can't pay it, they're gonna have to come and get it. Well, Joe, your brother, is still on the hook. He co-signed, he's responsible for the loan on that car. And if you don't pay it, and if Joe doesn't pay it, they can come after both of you for the debt. They may go to Joe first and say, Joe, you gotta pay this car now, but if Joe doesn't pay it either, and they can come after both of you. And you may think, well, they gotta come after me first, right? No, they can go after either of the co-signers on the vehicle in most situations. So a co-signer, the person that signed the dotted line is responsible for the debt as well, fully responsible for the whole thing. Where on the other hand, an authorized user usually doesn't have to sign the dotted line. Instead, you write their name on the, on the document, on the form. You give them the ability to have a card, like a credit card, and their name may be on it as an authorized user, but if the credit card bill doesn't get paid, they're not responsible for it. You're responsible for it as the primary uh, obligor on that loan. So an authorized user usually is not responsible for the debt, where a co-owner definitely and certainly is responsible for the debt. So understanding the difference between a co-signer and authorized user is very important because it helps determine who can that creditor go after if that debt's not getting paid. That is something you need to make sure that you are aware of. Is this person gonna be an authorized user or a co-signer? Am I gonna be a co-signer on this or an authorized user? There are very real and important differences between the two.